Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again on two streak. Let's see who we might get. Let's give it a go. Ooh, Tainted Mastema, you say. Tainted Mastema is always a fun one. He's just a character that you've got to you've got to vastly change how you play the game to effectively play this character. Um, I I constantly forget he starts with triple shot. I've got to say. <laughs> I was like really surprised by that. But yeah, you have to you have to really change up what's going on. Although Isn't that meant What? I, I'm a bit confused. I thought that was meant to um be a item for broken hearts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully it's not just something that's broken. But either way, yeah, you have to pretty drastically change how you play when you play this guy because of the um the broken hearts he receives. So we're gonna have to um we're going to have to see what's what and hope, th hope for the best. Actually a pretty decent active to get off the bat. Like, I think that um, because of its old life within um, AB+, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls gets kind of a bad rap. I think it's actually really good because I believe they removed the Kamikaze from it. Because before, it had Kamikaze as well as like one other item that could self-damage. And because of that, no one used it. But I think they've removed the self-damaging items, and now it's a it's a lot more applicable to more situations. Of course, there is the chance that you're going to do that, but I was going to come back to these rooms anyway, so I have to say, I don't particularly mind. Do you know what? I definitely don't mind when it gives us a golden penny. If this golden penny gets us to 15 cent... Okay, no, it's going to give us 4 cent. <laughs> I was going to say, if it gives us to 15 cent, then this will be well worth it. Not quite. Not quite, but yes, today's question of the day. What shall that be? What shall that be? Ooh, we've got Kessa Creation on. Oh my god. What is a genre of film or TV that you just cannot watch? You can't... Wait, so now it costs money and HP? Something ain't right. This is not how this guy is meant to work. Hmm. Yeah, something here ain't right at all. I don't know what's causing this. But what I was going to say is, what is, like, one genre of TV, film, book, whatever, that you just cannot stand? Like, you just can't physically read, watch, whatever. Mine's horror. I just... I just can't get behind horror. I don't enjoy horror at all. Okay, so, yeah. Something is seriously broken. Um, Let's take this. Something is seriously, seriously broken. I did receive broken hearts there. But isn't it meant to cost broken hearts? I, I I don't know. Something's not going right. Something's not quite right. I'm going to have to look into this. Okay. But this time, we effectively have um, the ability to use our active twice now. What the fuck just happened then? <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused. <laughs> There's all sorts of wacky shit going on right now. Okay, let's just accept it for what it is. Try our best to get through this. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how this brokenness ends up impacting us throughout the whole run. It might be that this kind of ruins the character's main gimmick. It might be that I'm completely misremembering the character and nothing's broken whatsoever. It might be that there was an update or change to the character itself. But that is not what I think is going on right now. I think things just ain't working right. Because I swear the item room's meant to cost broken hearts as well. And then, like, this is costing... I've got to take it because it's a guppy item. But, like, this is just confusing. <laughs> this is just very confusing. I just don't know what to think. We removed a broken heart there. That's nice. Okay. But, yeah, I don't know why, but, like, for me, I just... People are like, oh, well, watch it, watch like a good horror, like a psychological horror. And it's just every time anyone shows me anything horror, I just don't enjoy it. I just, I don't want to be scared. Like, I don't, like, that's not an immersion I enjoy at all. I don't want anything to do with it. And people are like, oh, but what about, like, psychological? That's worse. <laughs> I don't want to be up at night thinking about the psychological 
horror. It's horrible. I just, I just can't fathom the enjoyment of horror. Like, I know a lot of people enjoy horror. I mean, that's why it's a genre. Uh, people fucking love it, but I, I just can't understand it. it. Just doesn't compute for me at all. It does not make sense. Right. Oh, we don't have a key yet. One second. One second. Right. Let's continue on. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm perplexed. I'm confused. But yeah, it's just. I like. I remember for someone's birthday, we went to see a, a horror film. Bear in mind, it wasn't a good horror film. I know it wasn't a good one. It, it was the the first Conjuring film, which was basically just all jump scares, which I don't. Just aren't good. See now, these ones don't cost health at all. What the hell's going on here? I'm so confused. Some really wacky shit going on right now. I am, um, yeah, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. But yeah, let's go see The Conjuring. And like I said, I know, I, I know for a fact it was a bad horror film. Like, that's not in contest. It was just jump scares, which is like the, the lowest brow form of horror. Um, but even still... I just really didn't enjoy it. Like, there's some there's some films that are sort of in that vein that I can enjoy it, like A Quiet Place, but I wouldn't even say it's horror. That's more thriller. And that's m more kind of up my alley. I, I, I genuinely really enjoyed that quite a lot. I'll definitely take Serpent's Kiss here. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed that quite a lot. Charge key there. Good, good. But it's still just a genre. People try to, to try to get me into it. Never Named especially has been asking me to... Uh, to watch a few of the horror stuff that he likes. And I just just got no interest in it whatsoever. And I'm sure there's other people out there that have the exact same thing with comedy. Where they just don't like comedy films. I, I think the percentage will be much, much less. But I, I bet that is still something that, uh, that some people have. Where they just can't find it in themselves to enjoy a, a comedy film. Or a drama or whatever. I think the horror is probably going to be the most uh, common variation of that. Because I feel like... Horror is one of those, like, genres where uh, more people are likely to, to not want to be scared. See, now this one costs Broken Hearts. What the bloody hell is going on? This is so very confusing. Black Rune. Ooh, the Black Rune got a resprite. That's pretty interesting. Got Terra Cloth here. I'll take it. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, okay. That's tarot cloth there for you. Get some damage ups here. Make that free. It still gave us broken hearts though. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. Well then, that was uh, pretty insane. We'll be uh, We'll be going now. We'll check out our sh what, was, what was in our shop again? I can't actually remember. Was there anything good? I know it didn't cost money, so I should probably check it out. Ah, unfortunately, nothing really worthwhile. But that was a pretty insane one. We got quite a bit of damage ups there. I can't believe this character starts with minus 6.66 luck. That's terrible. <laughs> I, get the, the, I get the reference, obviously, the 666, but still, that's, that's a lot. We'll take that as well. Why not? Got a lot of broken hearts right now. <laughs> Got a lot of broken hearts. I, I'm still really confused as to if this character's working or not. It seems like it's partially working, but also partially not. We've got invincibility for some reason in this room. Not quite sure why that is. The fettered hearts are doing us a good job as well here. Crack that open. That's a golden penny. Nice. Pop that. I think we're, we're, we're pretty in the money. Another pretty pathetic golden penny there. I think we're pretty in the money to have a good run here. But to whether things are actually functioning as they should, that's that's another question. I'll have to talk to the developer and, uh, and make sure. I might be just completely wrong. There might have been updates that change things. But I just feel like it's probably a negative mod interaction between um, two mods, more than likely. Right, we keep going though. We push on. Whoa. I like for I think I got um the free time thing for a little bit there. Bag of trash. I'm not gonna take bag of trash. I don't think I need the extra broken hearts right now, and it's not great. 
Yeah, we're just a little confused why some items are costing broken hearts and some aren't. In fact, one minute. Okay, I don't see anything about that anywhere in the um, anywhere in the description of the mod, like any any ch change logs or updates. I was I was gonna check just to see maybe it has changed, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Okay, get another key back. That's good. We've also got an immortal heart here, which seems to be helping. I've got a, a burn piece from somewhere. I don't really know where I got that from, but there you go. Okay. Oh, we got invincibility here. Having uh, this trinket with this active is so good. Every time we pop our active, we're getting another active at the same time. Now, like I said, sometimes that's going to be bad for us, but a lot of the time it's been pretty good. Right. See, like, this one costs a broken hat, and this one doesn't. Why? <laughs> I'll definitely take that, though. This is a good item. Basically shows us all our secret rooms. And then this here is just genuinely some good stuff. Um, Devil's Crown's kind of a weird one. I, I, don't, I, I, I do want it, but I also don't want it because um, we've already got such a good uh, setup with our trinket right now. Let's go back and see, check the secret room. The confusion is deep within my soul right now. Very deep. This time we got that. That was a modded one. That. I didn't even know you could get modded ones on that. Bit of extra money here. And we're getting all these shops that actually cost money. It's kind of worthwhile. Wait. My active is different. Where'd my guppy's head go? What happened? I'm confused. Where'd my guppy's head go? Excuse me. I feel like I've been slightly robbed. Yeah, I feel like I've been slightly robbed here. Hmm. I don't really know what happened there. My god. But yeah, what's like a, another another sort of question on top of the one that I asked earlier? What's like a, a an experience where you've gone to the theater, like to, gone to the cinema to see a film that you've just really not enjoyed? Um, that's probably my only one. The good thing is, so it was for, it was for a friend's birthday party, so obviously I went just because it was a friend's birthday party. Okay. Thanks for teleporting me out of that room and all the way back over here. I went because it was a friend's birthday party and it's kind of like polite. I didn't want to say no just because I didn't like the film. Um, but luckily, there was one other guy there that was, say, that was the same as me that just did not like uh, horror films at all. So we were just both kind of cowering in the corner like, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's kind of funny as well, because, like, the, the friend group that I went with, it was a very, I don't know, it was a very, like, widespreading group. Um, as in, like, the guy that I was friends with was, was a dude that I, uh, I, like, walked to school with every day. It was his birthday. But he was friends with, like, a lot of the popular and cooler kids that I wasn't friends with. Um, and some of them are, like, completely fine, normal people. They're just liked by other people because they're good people. And there's some of them that were kind of cunts. Unfortunately, can't take any of this. Um, I lost my eternal heart, but I don't really mind. There you go. That's all I wanted. I damage up, and then I bounce back up to near full health. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other, the other like person was kind of in that mid space where they were reasonably popular, but not like one of the one of the dickhead popular kids. So, and and he was like sort of like the the big rugby player of our school like this this fucking tower of a dude and it was just so funny to like see me and him two people from very opposing parts of like the social groups in school basically like cowering together because we didn't like the film uh it was pretty funny i was i was only like 15 when that happened i think maybe even younger there is some real janky shit going on right now <laughs> i can't even describe it seems like the extension thing, if it's a throne, if it's a throne active, like Bob's Rotten Head or Jello or anything like that, when we throw it, it activates another copy of the, um, of the trinket. It's very strange. Wow. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'll take this out with more than the black rune. I like the black rune resprite though. That's really nice. 
Okay, we got 99. Right, so I don't know exactly where to use the Soul of Cain. We want to be looking for somewhere that has at least three... Whoa, that's a lot of leeches. At least three different doors. This one has one. The reflection of that door is weird. Should it be like that? We're getting invincibility a lot, too. I'm not sure where all the invincibility is coming from. Unfortunately, the Rose isn't particularly good for us because it requires us to take damage. I think this is a good place to use our soul. We got a planetarium. This isn't a Red Room planetarium, it's just a regular one. We still got one. Unfortunately, it's Mars. I still take it because it's a. I can't not take a planetarium item, right? Oh, it does not look great with this character. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything here. Oh, did I just erase flies from the run? I think I accidentally just erased flies from the entire run. That's a positive, I guess. Right, I'm kind of like beelining victory here because this, this, this run seems boxed. It seems to be evening out now. I've not had any glitchiness for a little bit. What the hell even happened then? I think I detend them all. Oh, one moment. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, we are back. We are back. Right, was this... I, I can't remember where we were anymore. I've been on the phone for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, I love the fettered heart. It's so good. So good. But yeah, at least we got this thing now. The the thing that's going to allow us to kill some a bit easier. Um, ooh, glitch heart as well. Not that we need it, really. I don't know why the, the music properly glitches out now. Whenever we... Uh, Whenever we get invincibility. It's been like that in Repentance, like, since since Repentance came out, I think. What the hell hurt me then? Oh, no, I, 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 I was like, what the hell hurt me? But I think I got dull razored. Didn't actually hurt me. We are just getting a heckin' load of invincibility here. Whoa! I dashed into this room by accident. Not intentional. Easy. I love, I love the one bomb and done with that guy. <laughs> there ain't no way I'm grabbing that. Oh, we're supposed to be going to Mother as well. Oh, I've made mistakes here. This this runs all sorts of balked, isn't it? All sorts of balked. Oh, I just used my active by accident as well. Oh my god. Things ain't going so right for me. Things ain't going so right. They're going very wrong. It's okay though. We've we've we've, we've kind of pulled together a pretty good run, nonetheless. Um, despite, like, it's, it's kind of weird because we're still having these, these broken heart issues. I won't even say issues, but these broken heart, like, how it's meant to work. But then on top of it, it's just sometimes not working. It's very rare that mods do that, that have, like, partial... Ooh, hello. The bottomless bag and the eternal D6. Upon use, holds the bag in the air for four seconds. All nearby pickups are sucked into the bag... Hold the shooting button to release all projectiles as homing tears. That doesn't sound very good. I think we'll take this and hope for a reroll. We get ourselves good fortune. Killing enemies grants us small damage, but also gives us a look down. Honestly, that's a really good pickup for us because we don't give a shit about our luck because our luck is so obscenely low already. So we, we really have no, no need to worry about that. But yeah, health is also not a concern right now. I, don't, I didn't actually check. Did that give me a black heart? I don't know. I don't think it did. That little tail attack that they do is so random. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Like, sometimes you, like, you'll see those enemies, like, 20 times in a row and never see that attack again. Right, we can come back for that key. I know that using bombs for combat isn't exactly the best use of our time. But on a room like this, it feels it feels much more worthwhile. Let's pop that again. It's unfortunate we've not got any really cool devil deals yet out of our... Um... Oh! I've just realized we have an empty vessel. Hot bombs. Ah. Unfortunate. Um. Yeah, we have empty vessel. I'm like, where are we getting all this invincibility from? It turns out we just had empty vessel this whole time. I think it's because I got it for free. If you remember, if I remember correctly, I used the uh, Devil Deal um, and I used the spikes to give myself some extra damage ups, and that actually, in turn, ended up making the uh, ended up making the empty vessel free, which I always forget is a feature of this character. So it's kind of hence why I I forgot that it would happen. 
But yeah, now having a reroll, it does mean we're going to get a little less use out of extension, uh, whatever it's called. I keep calling it extension kill. What is it actually called? What we got in here? Cyborg, baby. And the compass. Some really just beautiful wreath brights that we've got going on here. I keep forgetting all the ones that I ended up downloading. So when we end up seeing some new ones that we haven't seen in a bit, they're just so nice looking. Right, we can, we can definitely get some stuff out of this. Right, let's quickly get rid of all the spiders. Even the swallowed penny there looks awesome. Unfortunately, nothing for us there. I will pop one of these. Ended up being pretty lucrative. Good, good. A theme. Oh, now it's a brimstone, baby. Obviously, a little bit tricky. I feel like I get brimstone as his character a lot. A little bit tricky on the broken hearts front. Um, Not exactly looking too hot there. But... Triple Brimstone? Don't mind if I do. We definitely need to find a sack room and some, some spare hearts. One good thing that I've not really been thinking about is the fact that we're getting periodical invincibility and have the ability to generate um, extra black hearts upon touching enemies should lead to some uh, some extra ways for us to get rid of these, uh, black hearts, uh, these broken hearts as long as we're finding sacrifice rooms, which... I can't remember how many of those we've seen thus far. There's like an invisible shadow following me. Can you see that? I don't know what it is. Is it one of my items? Oh wait, no, it's firing at enemies? It was shooting at enemies just then. I'm, I'm very confused. Um, I'm not seeing anything in our inventory that it could possibly be either. But it was shooting at things. Oh, I know what it is. It's a, it's a cell baby from the cell heart. It's just invisible for some reason. I don't know why, but it is currently invisible. Right, shop, what do you have to offer? So obviously taking on any more broken hearts is, is a pretty bad choice here. I think taking a soul of Isaac is good. There's another soul of Isaac here. We've also got the two of coins. Even taking another Soul of Isaac might be a good call here, but let's keep rolling and see what we get. That's a good trinket. In fact, I think it's about time we swap and take that trinket. It's a very good trinket. Entropy's interesting. Care Skull looking awesome there. Money equals power, you say. This is really dangerous. Would not recommend, kids. But we now have quite a nice source of damage, which I, I very much appreciate. Despite only having 2 HP. But yeah, now, pick, picking up a red heart like that is going to give us a temporary damage boost, which is super useful. Okay, I accidentally fired there and didn't actually release in time. As you can see, though, we are kind of wrecking. Yeah, we get a damage boost there. And the damage boost decays just like Red Stew does. Uh, I think we'll take this for now. What time are we on? Okay, we got to be very quick about this. Don't know what that is. Keeper's Kin has got a re-sprite there as well. It's unfortunate because I don't think there's any way in which we could manage to take anything there. We also skipped out on our item room accidentally there too, but again, there wasn't much way that we could possibly take anything that we would receive in those item rooms, so it's not all bad. We can try and get some black hearts here. There you go. It's going to be a, a method that is tried and true. We're going to be using that as much as possible to generate black hearts. One of you left. Okay, we're going to kill things pretty instantly here. This is all about, really, how well can I deal with the amount of broken hearts that I currently have? Because the basically only way we're getting rid of them at this point is via the floor to floor. Like, every time we descend, we're going to get another one. Right. Good, good. 
So bandage unfortunately isn't takeable here. There's just so much we can oh, no. There's just so much we can't do right now. It's really unfortunate. We have just way too many. Way too many. Ooh. Ah, damn. I was going to take that because I thought that would maybe be a respawn. I don't even know how a respawn would work as this character. Would it remove our black heart, uh, our broken hearts if we did a respawn or would it not? I would assume it wouldn't because that would be kind of cheesy. But at the same time, it might. Because like, what if it tried to respawn you? You didn't have enough hearts to res like you picked up something that put you at full broken heart. How would that play out? Would you respawn and then instantly die? I'm not sure. I feel like maybe you would. You'd just respawn and then you'd respawn with 12 broken hearts and just die straight away. Mr. Dolly's another good one, but we just can't take it right now. We've unfortunately doomed ourselves to the items that we currently have. And we can we can go no further than the items we currently have. I'm looking forward to using some of these resprites in video thumbnails as well. I feel like video thumbnails are really awkward. Like, it's very clear that giving a, a, a thumbnail like a nice flashy, not clickbaity, but like a nice flashy sort of appealing image always works. I Like, the videos in which I do something kind of crazy in the thumbnail get like 2k views, and the ones where I don't, sometimes don't even get 1k. It, it's huge how much of a difference it does make. So I think maybe trying out, um, oopsie, trying out using the um, resprites in the thumbnails might be kind of appealing, because obviously, for one, some, some people might not know what items they are and think, ooh, I want to check out what item this is. Or it might just be that it's like, more interesting because it is just flashier. It's it's a really it's kind of a really horrible thing with YouTube because it feels like it feels like you have to trick people into watching your videos by making them look more interesting than they actually are. But the, at the same time, like it really works. Like if you put out a video that has a meh thumbnail that's just kind of average, no fucker clicks on it. <laughs> like no one gives a shit. But if you put out a thumbnail that's, even if it's super clickbaity and the, the thing that's in the thumbnail doesn't even happen, but if you put out a thumbnail like that, you get way, way more people clicking on the video. It's just annoying how much of a hold, um, how much of a hold the actual thumbnail has over a video's success. It's a shame, really. I wish it wasn't that way. Yeah, hopefully the invincibility kicks in at a good time here and we can get some extra damage out via our poison. But we're doing good damage to him nonetheless, so I wouldn't mind too much on either way. Oh, I walked right into that one. It's okay, we're going up, aren't we? This run's gone, it's just been a bit of a schlog really, hasn't it? Like, we've, we've got some really good stuff going on, but we've kind of cursed ourselves to this eternal punishment of not being able to pick up any more items. Like, we're getting... We're relieving ourselves of broken hearts a little here and there. We've got ourselves back up to an amount of health that's a little more acceptable. But there's definitely a few items in our roster here that I probably shouldn't have taken. It's kind of... It's kind of like... For me, playing sort of a slightly more risky, slightly more free and, like, easy to play as uh, Tainted Isaac. Like... You've got kind of that restriction on items, uh, but in a very, very different and more unique way. I like it a lot. I think it's a it's a really good way of imposing that restriction without it feeling the same as Tainted Isaac. For one, you don't want it to feel the same just because you don't want a character to be exactly the same as another, especially a vanilla one. But also, um, it's improving upon the formula. It's taking It's taking a character that I feel like... Tainted Isaac's got some intrigue to him, but he's also got some, like, heavy annoyance. And he really, at the end of the day, isn't all that unique. Um, he's got some uniqueness to him, but it's not crazy. And I feel like this takes that idea and expands upon it. Because it's like, there's a, there's a way out. Like, you're not... You, you kind of have a limit on how many items you can take. But at the same time, it's not a hard limit. There is ways in which the player can manipulate that chance to better favor how they like to play. Now, that may include um, using sacrifice rooms, trading actual HP, and abusing Satanic Bible to get extra charges. And it's, it's another thing as well where it's like, Satanic Bible is one of those ones where it's got a secondary risk. Do you want to just grab free boss items or do you need the HP 
to alleviate yourself of the broken hearts that you've taken for taking items you maybe shouldn't have. And then on top of that, you've got the Sanguine Bond, which is another great addition to this character, especially with the idea of it freeing up devil deals sometimes. I like that a lot. It's got, it's got a lot of intrigue to it. So maybe it's just actives don't cost broken hearts. Is that is that what I'm noticing? Oh god, I'm taking buku hits right now. I might die on this floor. I'm hoping I don't, but it's certainly like our charge speed is just very very low, so it's certainly plausible that I die. Back of crafting. I don't think that we're gonna get much use out of that this late on. I'll be honest. To be fair, I'm not going to get much use out of my reroll either, but still. What we need is some red hearts to pump up our damage with this trinket we got going on right now. That would be really choice. You watch. People are going to tell me in the comments, hey, this is just how the character works, and you've been wrong the whole time. You just forgot. Because I haven't played this character in a little while, so it's, it's definitely potential that I didn't just forget. The fettered hearts here are going to be super useful. Fettered enemies, should I say. They're going to do that chain reaction effect. I do think we should try and get some poison damage going on here. Unfortunately, okay, there you go. There you go. We've got two black hearts out of that. That puts us in a way better position. We're near to full health now. Or what is our current full health? touched a lot of these enemies, but I don't know if you have to kill them. No, you don't. You just have to touch them. Okay, that works. But yeah, taking something like Brimstone for three broken hearts is something like you... Even if he puts you in a, such a dire situation, it's like a must, isn't it? You have to. You can't not. Brimstone's just something that just doesn't show up enough. Oh god. I always keep sort of getting near to charging to full and then don't quite charge it fully. Alexa, baby. Unfortunately, again, the broken hearts just ain't worth the squeeze right now. Right. Checking to see if I get chest for leaving rooms, but I think we're doing okay for the most part. Fettered hearts helping us out there. And you're going to die very quickly. Also, this character's starting with flight. It's another good thing. Ooh, I don't know. Do we even want to? The golden pills are always so tempting, but they're like the riskiest thing in the game. They really are. Still no keys, though. I'm surprised they don't have their own uh, minimap API icon. Maybe they do and it's just not working right now, but if they don't, they should. So yeah, we touch every enemy. We might not get a single black heart here, but it's worth the, it's worth the try. And we get ourselves piggy bank. No, thank you. Right, Blue Baby himself, we got Explorer's Instinct here as well. This guy should, shouldn't be too bad, he'll kind of take a beating here. Our charge speed is definitely problematic for this guy, but otherwise you can see how much damage we're doing. Blue Baby could use a bit of a resprite, I think. He's like a, a fine looking boss, but he's, him and Isaac are both very basic. They, they, they don't really feel like bosses. I think it may be just because of the amount of times I've fought them, but still, they could, they could use a little more oomph. Either way, we'll close out that run here. Feeling pretty good about it, despite the weird glitchiness of this run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.